flawed character versus a train wreck, or is that what we want to see? Yeah, we want to see everybody train wrecked. Mm -hmm. um, you you want to see everybody in a room grappling with their flaws. I mean, in a, in a story like Mad Men, everybody had a deep core wound. Peggy's core wound is she's a, she's a woman in a man's world, but she thinks like a man. She was damaged deeply. Um, Joan has this deep core wound. I'm only a sex object, right? And that, and by the way, these didn't heal, right? At the end of the show, she's still dealing with, Joan's still dealing with the fact that she essentially whored herself out with this uh, car executive and is not taken seriously by men, yes? They never heal. But it is the core wounds that when they bump up against each other in the story that makes you want to watch them. And audiences never need to know this. But if you ask yourself why a character is interesting you're looking at, it's almost always because of that. How are they bleeding, right? The other thing Don did because he was unlovable is he made up an entire story about who he was. He took someone else's identity, yeah? He took the identity of a guy who was killed in Korea. Again, I'm not lovable. I couldn't be loved for me. I got to be somebody else. So it's always there in a great story. There's never a story that it's not in. Now, this probably wasn't true 20 years ago, but we've become a more sophisticated audience in the United States. We really do uh, want depth of character that we didn't need 20 years ago, and that's only going to continue. Stories, and a story like Louie, which is a television series with this great comic, it's nothing but him bleeding every week in surprising ways, confessing things that sort of make our teeth be set on edge, but it's compelling to watch someone confess. Confession is riveting. Whenever I confess a personal wound of mine in a classroom, everybody's going to, I've been talking a long time, everyone just stops. There's total silence looking at me. They want to know. And this is why you can't lie about your core wound, because that's what people want to do. Oh, geez, I can't say the truth, so I'm going to make something up. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. My mom molested me when I was four. You can't make it up. Why? Because we have infinitely good bullshit detectors as audiences. We will know. I can always tell in a story when someone's telling me something that isn't true or isn't their experience, we know immediately. You've got to tell the truth or audiences will be bored. So whatever your pain is, you can't lie. It's the truth that makes people want to watch you. Why do we love confessions? Why do we, why, why? Well, we're, what is it let about? me ask you, what's your deepest, most personal embarrassing secret? I'll tell you when the camera's on. <laughs> there's there's exactly. more than one. Uh, exactly. But if you were to tell me now, I would love hearing it. Why? My only sense would be because then you could measure your own against what I'm telling That's you. That's right. And then go, I guess I'm not that bad after all, maybe. Only, or, I'm not alone. Okay. I'm, you're, in, you're in pain. So am I. Now I understand you. Now I empathize with you. Now you're, you're like me. Now it's a story about me. It's not some wonderful person who's leading a perfect life that I might fantasize about and enjoy as a reality show um, or a Kardashian show, but it's the deeper part of our lives, which is I'm in pain. I, I, I don't have everything I want. Are you like me? Oh my God, you are? Thank you. Now I'll follow you because if you can get better, I can get better. Empathizing with the character is all about confession. If you'll notice in a great story, confession of your core wound or showing the core wound is something that happens almost immediately in great stories. You want to show the character's wound and his compensation often in the first 10 minutes of the show. In a movie, that's certainly true. The quicker you show it, the better the empathy will be for it, for the audience. Don't hide it. Make everything, and every scene's about it. Every scene's about the core wound and about how you're either curing it or making it worse. And every character in a movie is only ripping at the wound or healing it. 
That's all it is. Movies are just, uh, think, of, uh, think of a movie story as a, 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 a boxing ring and the hero jumps into the ring, but he's bleeding. He starts out bleeding. And the whole movie is just people jumping in with bandages to help him heal or people jumping in with knives to rip it wider open. In a television story, that just continues for season after season. But it's the same thing. 